What's up, YouTube? Lord's giving me revelatory moments. Trinity Delusion 2 is done. Fourth book. Fifth one's half done. Sixth one started. So Matthew 7, 22. Now, before I tell you that scripture, every, every second, there's 60 seconds in a minute. And every, within those 60 seconds, we have heart is, is being judged through the, the ways God does works and it, it, within one of those seconds you become you could become Satan just like Peter uh, I think it was Matthew 8 I could be mistaken but he said get behind me Satan thou art an offense unto God how does that happen just it's it's within those seconds and let me show you Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Religious. If you're religious, I'm sorry, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say unto me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name they the people were they were terrified because they saw the lake of fire right before Jesus cast them into the lake of fire and in thy name have cast out devils that's the church folks the leadership the prophets and in thy name done many wonderful works they prophesied they cast devils out and it sounds like the church it is the church. Matthew 8, 12. Verse 23 of Matthew 7. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. No prayer. Just performance in the show at the church. The microphone's red hot. So overused that they break all the time. music, the dancing. And in the end, when God says, I am grieved, and he casts you all into the lake of fire. And then, will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Iniquity is, is every one of our enemies. And it abides within the heart. And if we don't fill our uh, vessel, our heart, with prayer, by default, we're going to fail. God might put you in a congregation of dingbats and you have to deal with carnal, evil, stupid, religious people. And we're supposed to be having prayer. They have... It's more of a performance base now. It's even the preaching is graded by performance. They don't really grade it by the Holy Ghost. What's the Holy Ghost say about all this? It, it, it's a non-issue with them. Those are the fools. See, I don't want to be that. I. I I want to have a church that has prayer every day. Where I could wake up, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, a.m., 12 o'clock. Walk in there, have some prayer, stay as long as I want. Leave. 10 p.m., 11 p.m. There's a great church in Louisiana, they do that. Yeah, Brother Bangins. Wonderful, wonderful place. I wish I was there. That is what's needed. My house shall be called a house of prayer. You thieves. You're going to see pastors. My first pastor said this all the time. They will be cast into lake fire. Your pastors. The prophets that uh, prophesied by Baal. Baal. 
they'd get paid and come to the church and prophesy with the lines and then tell you tell you your zip code address and Evangelists, they can't say nothing but what the pastor wants them to say, or they will be fired. You will never see them at the church again. Cast into lake fire. I don't know how many times Jesus warned about this very thing I'm talking about. Start at Matthew chapter 1, go through the whole New Testament, and Make a little hash mark every time you see Jesus talking about this stuff. I'm grieved. I'm angry. I'm fearful. I've talked in six minutes. That would keep congregation for a day or two. I don't need a three-hour preaching message. I'm not into the stupid freaking show. I hate it with everything in me because it's not what God intended for his church to be. I am sick of it. I could barely stand to get myself to the house of God. I have to fight myself every day because of the stupidness I got to deal with when I get there. That is not God's church. That is not God's church. No. No. Those are fools going to the lake of fire. There's anything else I could share. Therefore, whosoever doeth heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken them unto a wise man which built this house upon a rock. I was in my book, um, in things straight, and uh, Judas and Peter came to mind. And it's what you're going to be. People that love money, they're, they've got Judas in them and they've got Peter in them because they were so similar in their inward man that every time Judas was mentioned in the Bible you notice Peter's right mentioned right after Jesus is always trusting Peter notice and check it out because Jesus knew those roles could be flipped and reversed anytime Was Peter willing to lay his money down? Was he willing to lay his life down? Was he willing to humble? There's a lot of there's a lot of lessons in that, folks. Make your choice. And when you choose Christ, it ain't gonna be pretty. As far as what you had planned for your life, it ain't gonna work that way. It's going to work out. The Holy Ghost works it out for you. And all you're going to do is say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because if you try to do stuff on your own, Judas, yeah, you're going to end up like Judas. One of them's in heaven and one of them's in hell. Which one are you going to be? That's all I got. God bless.